The January 6th committee puts extremists in the spotlight today, and many of them came from Florida. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us tonight. Multiple Florida ties have emerged during these hearings. The select committee looking into that chaos at the Capitol once again heard testimony and revealed new evidence today, including President Trump allegedly trying to contact one of the witnesses. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buteau with details. Keith and Stacey, testimony today detailed how a number of Trump aides told the president there wasn't any evidence to support voter fraud. But according to investigators, Trump kept pushing and allegedly ignited the assault with a single tweet. That the evidence did not support this assertion. This was the big lie. The hearing co-chaired by the only Floridian on the committee, Democrat Stephanie Murphy, gave us an too. inside look at what was described as an unhinged six-hour meeting in the Oval Office. At times, Trump aides and supporters that included Rudy Giuliani were heard screaming at each other and almost coming to blows. A short time later, at 1.42 in the morning on December 19th, Trump sent this tweet that ended with, big protests in D.C. on January 6th. Be there. Will be wild. This tweet served as a call to action, and in some cases, as a call to arms. According to the committee, within hours of the tweet, Trump supporters mobilized. The time for games is over. <laughs> Court documents indicate four days after Trump's tweet, Bay Area business owner and oath keeper Graydon Young bought tickets to D.C. The 54-year-old is one of 90 Florida residents charged so far in connection with the Capitol assault. Eight on your side analyzed government records and other sources and found out the average age for Florida defendants is 44. The age range 20 to 72 and includes 79 men and 11 women. The Floridians also include a variety of occupations, a doctor, a nurse, a chiropractor, multiple retired police officers and firefighters, and two actors, one from Broadway and one from the adult film genre. Testimony today also named Donnell and Oath Keeper Kelly Meggs, who's pleaded not guilty to seditious conspiracy and other charges, as a key organizer. They're a violent militia. Former Oath Keeper spokesperson Jason Van Tatenhove's testimony echoed what we've heard from many of the Floridians who've been convicted or pleaded guilty. You get swept up in these moments. This could have been the spark that started a new civil war. Eight Florida Oath Keepers and ten Proud Boys are among those Florida defendants. And today's hearing ended with an allegation from Wyoming Republican Representative Liz Cheney, who told the committee Donald Trump tried to call a witness who was yet to testify. Cheney said that information has been passed on to the Department of Justice. And there, I guess there's another hearing next week. But I, there was this idea that this might wrap up at some point uh, soon and there will be a final report released. Do we know when that release date is going to be? So the first thing we heard was the release date would be sometime in September. But we are now being told it will be early fall when we will see that report. And uh, we've seen a, a, got a good idea of what it will include. Yeah, to be continued. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Well, 